hello, Franklin Thorpe Gamer here. Um, I finished the rest of the last level off, like, as soon as I finished recording the last video because of the fact that, um, the result, I only had to take, like, a few more steps before the level was done anyways, so I figured why not just save a few seconds of screen time. So, um, oh, so I, uh, I got my Dazzle, so now I am doing Paper Mario. I'm not going to do P Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga until Saturday because the, I'm almost done with this game and I can't do all three games at once. So I figured, oh well I might as well get done with Crash and then temporarily postpone doing Mario & Luigi videos until on um, Saturday. And then once I'm done with Crash then I'll continue with Mario & Luigi and make that and Paper Mario until I finish one of them. But I only except doing one LP, I mean, no, not one LP, two LPs at a time. Because doing more than that is just frustrating and I don't want to put up with it. And I'm almost done with this, and um, if I don't epically fail, which I really hope I don't, then, uh, then guess what? Then I'm going to get past this world. And uh, I'm going to hopefully maybe even get to the first level of the next warp room. And it looks like those are exploding fire hydrants. <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I'm expecting to be done with this whole game by about Friday. And then once Friday rolls around, then I'll, I'll continue doing Mario and Luigi on Saturday. And damn, there's a lot of things on screen. Yeah, I'll continue doing Mario and Luigi probably on Saturday, and, um, and yeah, and oh, and I'm going to be posting, um, two Paper Mario videos a day, because that game's long, and if I don't, then it's going to take forever getting through that game, and somebody might question saying, Oh, well, Josh, Paper Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga's a pretty long game, why don't you do that with that game? Well, I, I don't do um, two videos a day with Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga because um, it's a game I really don't mind taking my time with. It's just, and not to mention it's a game I'm playing on the computer and there's save states. It's just, with Paper Mario, it's a console game and I have to save in the game and not to mention I end up getting addicted to playing it and I um, play it for an unnecessary amount of time. And okay, I c yeah, that's difficult. Um, and I play for an unnecessary amount of time, um, which causes me to to make over the ten minutes of video that I put on here. See, on on this Camtasia, I see when ten minutes go by, and I'm like, oh, okay, I'm done for the day. But with that, I'm actually just sitting there enjoying the game until I think that time is up. I did reach two checkpoints, so that's not exactly that bad of a thing. I mean, I only died once. I really had I wish I hadn't died at all. It really doesn't help. And oh my god, there's so many things. Ooh, but I'm assuming that's the last limp. So we better finish that blimp off. And then we can go ahead and get the battle with Tiny out of the way. And if we can at least get through like part of the first level of the next warp room, that'd be great. Come on. Alrighty then. And I... Yes, I win. Okay, so now I go to battle Tiny. Hopefully this isn't too complicated. Um... What? Okay, obviously I'm just gonna avoid him until I can find an open spot to attack, but the pattern he goes in is really confusing. Oh, no it's not. And that was my time to attack. Yeah, I guess I was wrong. 
once an epic failure, always an epic failure. Now I assume he's gonna change his pattern a bit and destroy that platform. Yes, now I have what's his face mask guy with me, which didn't help at all. And he will come over and crush that platform. That's more difficult than I thought it would be. Come on, we can do this. What? I, th I thought he jumped in a pattern, not following me. And then I'll come down here then. I think I found an easy strategy. For once I found a strategy in this game. Until he did that and the the rock pushed me out of the way. But it with this kind of uh, thing going on, yeah, I, I'll be able to beat him quite easily. For once in my life, I'll be able to defeat a boss in this game easily. Then he breaks that platform. And damn, that sucks. Damn, that sucks. See, you have to like go right up against the, the edge of the platform with your jumps if you want to destroy him. And it's just that last part that gets me. And now he's going to come down and destroy that platform. Which isn't really going to affect me much. Yes, it is. I didn't expect that. Well, damn. That's not good. And now he's going to destroy the platform over there. And continue with this strategy of hippity hopping. And now he'll do that thing. What? Oh, I'm seeing my problem. I'm not going to off screen it because now I understand. I have to strictly use that platform. Because if I don't, then it's not going to work because I have to double jump for the platform to my right. Because it's only up like a... His graphics didn't even touch mine. Anyways, um... That platform's just like a millimeter higher than that one, meaning I have to double jump for the one on the right. Okay, yeah, I've got this. That was easy. Tornado spin. Push B repeatedly to spin longer and temporarily float. That is cool. Cortex, I knew this would happen. Crash was, has defeated three of your stooges. He must be... I, I... Stopped. I will not tolerate another failure. Uka, I'm sorry. However, do not be overly concerned. My planetary minimizer will stop him. Ooh. Star to finish. Huh. <laughs> It's like epic fail. It's like it's like all the names to the levels in this game are knee slappers. And by knee slappers, I mean cheesy jokes. Oh, so I want to see how this thing turns out. Obviously not the place to test it. And destroy the crate. Whoa, that was weird. No, can't do it unless I, yes, go right over. Come on. I'm not going to get through this level, I can just tell already. But, there's a chance that I can get through, like, maybe half of it. Reach that checkpoint, at least. Awesome. What is that thing? 
Well, let's not bother touching it, shall we? Because knowing it, it's gonna destroy me. Well, anyways, let's let's end with that really weird octopus metal thing. I I don't know what it is. Let's just ignore it because it. I don't want to see it just like I don't want to see my red-headed stepchild. No, I'm kidding. I don't have any stepchildren. Eh, step children. Well, this has been Franklin Thorpe Gamer with Crash Bandicoot The Huge Adventure. Yay. Okay.